you're still contemplating whether carnivore is right for you, I'm going to show you one thing. These pants were skin tight on me. It's been 120 days since I've been on the carnivore diet. Do I miss vegetables, fruit, grains, sauces, donuts? Do I miss any of that stuff? No. Those are the things that held me back in my life. They're the things that caused me to have rosacea, poor met metabolic health. It caused me to be constipated where it would only go once a month, and it was the most painful thing. All those foods that are, so, that are supposedly missing in my diet, they caused depression. They made me lethargic. They made me stay in my bed for five years. So no, I don't want those foods back. I want to eat the most nourishing food possible and not revolve my life around what's going to be on my plate and in my mouth. Why would you eat that way? Be and I will never forget the pain and the suffering that I went through because I just, I tried to eat a balanced diet. I tried to work out. You know how like frustrating it is to keep falling and falling and failing for so many years trying to lose weight, trying to go to college and then you can't even concentrate on what you're doing and you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars trying to get an education or you drop out of college and then you try to work and be a proper member of society and then all of a sudden you break down and you're crying and screaming in a fetal position and you might be thinking whoa sounds like you were just having anxiety well no i was having panic attacks and I was depressed and I was having depersonalization attacks. But the thing is, is that all these things can be cured with diet. If you're not eating well, you're not going to be sleeping well. If you're not sleeping well, how can you wake up in the morning and actually like plan out your day and be productive? You can't. And so you go through this vicious cycle this vicious cycle of beating yourself up, having all this guilt, it's not your fault. Your nourishment has been redacted. I'm so sorry to say this. Maybe you already know this, and that's why you watch my channel. To all of my subscribers who are now going to be called Redactivores, which has been um, voted in the community tab, and I would really, really love for you to join this channel. Please subscribe, comment, and like it. I'm very active in the community tab, so you'll be seeing posts on there and that's where you'll get sneak peeks of my upcoming videos, what I'm eating. And um, if I need any kind of feedback from you, you can help me build this channel because I want this to be our channel. I want the Redactivores to be a family, to be a group of friends. So today what I would like to do is just have a little chit chat and we're gonna talk about how it's been for 120 days on the carnivore diet. We're going to start. Okay, so I'm going to shrink myself down and we're going to be looking at some pictures that I've taken every more or less 30 days of the carnivore diet. So when I started the carnivore diet, I was 202 pounds and just a few days later, I actually dislocated my knee. So the first chunk of weight loss that you're going to see from day one to Day 51 is my, me with a dislocated knee and in bed for many, many weeks, getting around in a wheelchair or um, a, eventually a walker. And now I am out of the brace most days. Sometimes I put it on if I need a little extra support or if I do go out, I do put that on because um, this is a repeat injury and I'm going to need surgery for it. So. Uh, my babies are too young to have their mom uh, not walk for five months, so 
I'm gonna just take care of my knee and um, so let's let's get into the weight loss so I'm gonna be looking at it right over here this picture of my calendar now these aren't the best pictures I do apologize about that but I will describe what you see on the top left you're gonna see um, a calendar and below you're gonna see three calendars one for June July and August I started in May and like I said I dislocated my knee I was not going to I was not recording my weight um, but when I was able to start like really walking so on uh, June 7th I was 191.9 pounds and every week you consistently see at least two pounds of weight loss so I began the month of June uh, at 191.9 and I ended it at 188.7 in July I weighed myself on the third and I was 187 pounds and still you're gonna see that consistent about one to two pounds sometimes three pounds of weight loss and so I started the month of July at 187 and I ended it at 182 now this current month is August and I started uh, at 180.8 that's when I took my measurement out. I stepped on the scale at on day five. And then my latest weight has been 175.8. So I would love to show you, share with you some pictures from those days. We're gonna start with the front shot from left to right. You're gonna see day 51, and then the middle, day 82, and then my current weight, which in measurements, which is day 120. So what I see in this picture is I see drastic inches lost. And if you compare the left and middle picture, day 51 and day 85, you're gonna see there's not that much of a weight difference, even though I showed you that there has been consistent weight loss. Now there were some stalls for me with my diet. I was eating a lot of cheese. And so I decided to cut that out and that really, really helped me. And so I am seeing like, if you compare 51 to 120, look at the difference in my hips, 47 inches, and that's the widest part of my hips, including my, my buttocks. And so 47 inches down to 43.5. I mean, when I was, now when I was 240 pounds, this was several years ago when I first started doing keto and started losing weight, I had a 50 inch hip measurement. So the idea of me going from 50 from my highest to 43 and a half, it's just amazing. And so I, another significant one is my waist. I think that it's amazing that I, I mean, I, I'm more of like a pear shape, so I definitely don't carry my weight in my stomach, although I've had two babies. And um, you know, your body changes when you have two babies. So it went from 32 and a half from 51 to 30.5. I don't remember the last time I had a 30, 30 inch waist. That to me is just incredible. And um, everything pretty much was consistent. I lost about half an inch on my arms, um, my thighs, I lost about three inches there. My calves got a little smaller over these uh, days. And here's the side profile. And what I see like immediately is the things we just talked about so you can see that on the left my 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 stomach had a lot of like bumps in it because those are fat rolls and then as like the time went on my stomach is becoming flatter you can see you can see that in the profile and um i just even even my face and my skin like i i, I had a consistently like a 13 inch neck the whole time and then the last time i i um measure myself it was actually 12 and a half so I lost half an inch on my neck that's pretty significant and so here is the back and I'm just really happy with my my weight loss it's been consistent it's been uh, I feel incredible I actually had to um, declutter a lot of clothes early on because they were just not fitting like, and I, I did keep this outfit intentionally because I want all of my pictures all across the board to have the same exact outfit be behind those same closet doors. 
And I really want you to see that this is consistent weight loss that is realistic. I'm not losing like five, 10 pounds every month. I'm slow, I mean, uh, every week, I mean, I'm not even losing 10 pounds a week. It's not, I'm feeling, I'm feeling my body with the foods that are the most nourishing. I eat until I'm stuffed, like stuffed. And then I stop eating until I'm hungry again. And my satiety signals for the first time in my life are really consistent. I, um, I used to just, like I said earlier, I used to just eat because of every emotion. And now it's like my stomach actually gurgles. It didn't gurgle before. I remember hearing like other people's stomachs do that. You actually probably, you actually did that a little earlier. You probably heard it because <laughs> the mic picked it up. I remember like seeing that in TV shows and stuff. I was like, what is that? Is that a real thing? Apparently it is. And it's, it works for me too. Wow, that's just amazing. So now I want to compare day one and day 120 and the um i mean just the waist to hip ratio <laughs> and the thighs and everything from waist down is just like significantly less <sighs> it's just like absolutely amazing so um let's go here so from day one to 120 i have all the measurements here and i did the math for you so i've lost 20 and a half total inches from my body and I've lost 26.2 pounds from my body in just four months just four months like how beautiful is that and I just think it shows like every, everyone is like skeptical of the carnivore diet because of all the misinformation that we've been told all of our lives and it, studies are slowly slowly coming out organizations are slowly coming out that keto and carnivore are actually pretty pretty good for you so i mean just just look at these numbers i'm not exercising at all i mean i have two kids i'm running around but i don't have like a huge house you know we live in a two-bedroom condo so it's not like i'm walking long distances every day i am just consistently having the 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 most can't even talk because I'm just so happy. <laughs> I remember when I was 240, I'm just going to skip over that, but I just, I remember when I was 240 pounds, I dreamed of looking like this. I dreamed of looking back to like how I did in high school and I still have ways to go until then. And I know that my body's going to dictate what my natural weight is. I, I kind of stopped having a goal after I hit one and got into the 170s because that had been a goal for like 12 years of my life and so this to me is just like everything i don't want to put a number on it anymore i just want to see what happens what i feel good in and so this last month has been crazy for the channel so a lot of you have come over from carrie from homestead house uh interview with me it's really cool if you don't mind I'd just love to chat with you a little bit about that so I wrote a comment on one of his videos about like I got all like fueled and fired up and motivated because of his words and I was just like screaming if I could scream you know screaming equivalent in the comment section about how I never want my children to be in pain like myself and my husband who has had so many medical issues I really want him to come on the channel one day and share all that with you I know it will be incredibly motivating because it's incredibly motivating to me that he's even alive still and he's a father he's an active father he works he takes care of us and, and in turn we take care of him and so like I was just like I'm never gonna let my kids you know be bullied and succumb to this like sickness of being addicted to carbs and sugar and like carry and like a lot a lot of you guys were commenting and saying like congratulating me and I wasn't writing the comment I guess for like I didn't want to necessarily be noticed I lived my whole life without wanting to be noticed and now for the first time I'm like this is kind of nice to like have friends like <laughs> it's pretty nice and so he reached out to me and he was like oh you're a carnivore mom e email me and so we started exchanging emails and then uh, he invited me to do an interview and he just, he asked really honest, wonderful questions. He's 
if you it's so funny because you become when you go from just like watching a youtuber to actually like talking to them they actually seem like real people and it's so cool he's so kind and he's quick on his feet and he has this passion with him within him that just radiates you all can tell if you're if you love his videos and so from that then i've been i've i had an interview with adam from carnivore today i went on um rod's live long stay strong channel we did a live stream on there i made friends with finding Lindsay and who's your carnivore and we've been chatting like almost every day and we did a live stream on his channel i was on a short segment of keto cookout and it was so much fun and so it's like now all these things are happening to me where and i'm getting all okay forget this my redacted boards you guys are writing me so many wonderful comments and cheering me on and we are just like i don't know i feel like we're really connecting and i hope that you're enjoying my content um i am as of today i am on day two of the lion diet and I decided after your feedback that I need to cut out the last bit of dairy. And the last bit of dairy was butter. Oh, butter. Love butter. I love butter. <laughs> it made everything taste so good. And I, and I have to say that since just like two days, my face is less red. I mean, I do have like a super bright light. <laughs> Break the fourth wall there's a light um it, it, it just looks so much better and I'm actually doing a short series short series on the channel so every day I'm gonna update you or try my best every day to update you on my skin and what I'm eating I've just been eating a lot of beef a lot of lamb salt a lot of you um, reached out to me and were like why are you using more than salt because <laughs> I made a short being like is this so bad for me look at the ingredients and he had this like gross thing in it and so I got um I got him a lay in salt but everyone's like try Redmond's try Med Redmond so it's on my list when next time we're gonna buy groceries and stuff I will definitely be adding that to my cart and I will be trying it and so um I know there was like a bit of a tangent there but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for for being here with me and so let's go to this next picture so here on the left was like the picture I always use before I did YouTube and it was in uh, 2018 and as you can see I, all, I have very limited measurements. Um, I only have chest, waist, hips, left and right thigh. That's all I took and so I can't really like do a full comparison like how many full I can do pounds how many pounds I've lost and which has been 64.2 pounds. Like. I'm not carrying 64 pounds on my body anymore. I can like walk fast. I'm not out of breath constantly. Like it's amazing. So just from those measurements alone, those limited, limited uh, measurements, that's 23 and a half inches off my body. Uh, two uh, minus 2.5 off the chest, minus 5.5 off the waist, minus 6.5 inches on the hip, minus 5.5 on the left thigh, minus 3.5 inches on the right thigh. Like, I'm never gonna be that big again. I feel so good with the food I'm eating. And I feel like my face, like with the rosacea and like the pustules that I had on there, which are nice and like smooth now, they're just like, my face was like, <laughs> had to get hit on the head and be like, pay attention. Pay attention, there's, your body is suffering. It's like, whatever is going on on the inside is gonna come out and show you one way or another. Whether you have an autoimmune condition or you have rosacea or other like eczema or psoriasis, like our bodies will tell you and your mind will tell you too. And so I guess I just kind of wanted to just show you my weight loss, my measurements and keep this really simple and because I, tried recording this video a whole bunch of times and well I got nervous because there's no that over a thousand of you and I just want to be real be real authentic I don't want to read off a script even though I did write one but I didn't use it 
because I just I just get so nervous. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for subscribing. Leave me a comment below and tell me where you are on your carnivore journey and if you are excited as I am about my weight loss. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.